How you doing, folks? This is Ron Grovers from Ron's Beers. I got a beer to showcase for you today from Brooklyn Brewery, New York. Sriracha Ace Saison Beer. Before we go any further with the beer, I'll give you a fast synopsis of the com company. The founders are, are, are Steve Hindy and Tom Potter. Uh, Steve Hindy was uh, worked for um, Associated Press and he did all those uh, news items and so forth from the war in the Midwest there. Uh, the killings and the shootings and all the bombings and the assassinations and so forth. And um, one day his hotel got hit with a mortar round or a rocket round, I don't know exactly right now, but he had a piece of the shrapnel that was still hot, packed it up and came home and decided uh, enough of that. So like I say, the two co-founders, Steve Hindy and Tom Potter got together and they uh, basically got a brewmaster. This is a fast synopsis of the company. They got a brewmaster named William M. Mola. M-O-E-L-L-E-R. He was a farmer head brewer at Schmidt Brewing Company. And uh, what they did was they had him brew a Brooklyn lager at FX Matt Brewing Company in Utica, New York. And we've all heard of FX Matt. A lot of companies use them to brew their little batches of beer and so forth. And, uh, but they actually, uh, in 1988 is when it first started, Steve and Tom delivered their first cases of beer. And this is how Brooklyn Brewing came about. So it was a company that I was destined to be because they're doing very well right now. Well, enough on the company. We'll get to the beer. This beer is a 7.2% ABV. Uh, now what I'm getting for as far as the, the IBUs, the company didn't have it listed, but I got it from private sectors that it's 26 international bidding units in this beer. The style is a farmhouse Saison. Uh, now, how much different the Saisons differ on, on the, the farmhouse Saisons than the regular Saison, but I guess it's what, what's the malts that are used. The malts in this are German Pilsner. And um, the yeast is uh, a Belgian strain. This is their own in house yeast. It's a Belgian strain. This beer is available year round. So you can get any time of the year. They brew it all the time. Uh, on this this beer, uh, Beer Africa gave it a 4.08 out of 5, which is an exceptional uh, number. 4.8 out of 5, that's, that's high up there. It's exceptional. The, the Sriracha Ace hop variety is noted for its unique lemon zest and lemongrass aroma. So we'll, we'll find that out when we open it. The brewmaster for this company here is Garrett Oliver, and I've heard a lot about him. He writes articles on beer. I may, may have some books out, but I've heard that name before. I've read his articles, Garrett Oliver, uh, and he's uh, one of their brewmasters. So no further ado, let's uh, take a look at this beer. Let's look at their logo at the top here. Their, their logo, which you see. That uh, scripted B, let you see, and this is the label, brewed and bottled by the Brooklyn Brewery in Brooklyn, New York, 7.2 alcohol by volume. Okay, uh, food pairings on this, it's, before we open up, the food pairings on this, they say, uh, fish tacos, never never had those. Uh, shrimp, barbecues, salads, playful <laughs> breezes. Uh, I don't know what playful breezes are. This is their their words for this beer from the brewery. Grilled meats, pork buns, brief guitar solos. I know brief guitar solos. I do those all the time. <laughs> Unexpected puns, huh? And fresh goat cheese. Are the food parents for this fine looking beer? I will give us a bottle opener here. Okay, gotta get a glass. Sriracha Ace. Sounds interesting. And now, this basically, I think the, the, the hops from this were, uh, 
I, I come from. Let me okay, let me get some words from them. Name after this, this beer is this whole region of the beer is named after the Sirachi region of Hokkaido, Japan. H O K K A I D O, Japan. Uh, the Sirachi Ace Hop was developed by a large Japanese brewery in the late 1970s. Okay, so the Sirachi Hop was developed. By a brewery in Japan in the 1970s. It's a cross between British brewers and gold Japanese. I can't say the word again, but I'll spell it B I B E I K E L. Number two, in the famed Czech Zaz. We have heard that S A A Z. It had a unique lemony and a herbal scent, but this hop was deemed odd. And ended up quickly banished to a laboratory. <laughs> it never came out of there. In 2008, the Sriracha Ace Hop was quietly revised by a family farm in Washington State. Uh, and that's how it's in the United States. How it got to the East Coast, I don't know, but we'll find out. Less than a year later, we made it the star of its own titular beer. Originally a member of our Limited Brewmasters Reserve Series, Brooklyn Sriracha Ace is a beer we just couldn't. Let disappear. Brooklyn Sriracha Ace is a classic Saison, an unfiltered golden farmhouse ale with a clean malt flavor and the quirky Sriracha Ace hop standing front and center. That sounds like a mouthful. Uh, dry hopping releases Sriracha's Ace's bright spicy aromatics to tickle the nose before ascending into a fine harmony between pills in the malt and playful Belgian ale yeast. Hmm, there's some fine words there. For words to live up to actually. Brooklyn Sriracha Ace is sunshine in a glass. A shining example of the versatility of one of the world's most intriguing hops. I'd actually never heard of these hops before until this beer was introduced by my loving wife who buys the beers, produces the beers. This beer is a superstar at the table and we enjoy it with seafood dishes, fresh cheeses, poultry, barbecue, and even tomato-based pasta sauces. That sounds good. All by itself, it puts on a great soul performance, too. And we can honestly say that you've never tasted any beer quite like it. Mmm. Alright, so, uh, we'll pour ourselves uh, a glass of sunshine. This farmhouse I found. We got the glass. The old-fashioned style. Lager glass. And, uh, Get a good grip on here. See if any water vapors come out. I didn't really look at what the date on this was. Oh, Best Buy, May 14th, 2018. So, it's a fresh beer. Kind of a little uh, murky in there. Let's get the drone up. Had it dissipating fast. Besides bubbles. Okay. Doesn't appear to be much carbonation in it. And you really can't see through it. The aroma on this is really malty. I get a malty aroma. It must be that that hop. I'm getting a, an aroma. I can't pick up on what it is. But a kind of a malty. Definitely different. Definitely different as far as the aroma. Hi. Right, with that said, oh, check out the back. Words are kind of small. Okay, time for taste. Cheers. Oh, is that different? Mmm. 
that is a different flavor. Picking up a lot of the, um, I'm pretty sure it's that, that sriracha hop that they, hops that they have said. But it is a, a flavor that I haven't had in the, yeah, the, it's crisp. It's crisp like a lager. Even though they've used a German pills in the malt in this, and the like, the these hops are sriracha yeast, but they're grown in the state of Washington. The yeast is a Belgian st strain. The alcohol, seven point two. You can kind of pick up that on your taste buds. I mean, for a, a farmhouse I found. I don't know if 7.2 ABV is high, but definitely comes through on the flavor. And I'm assuming that it's that Sriracha hops. And I'm getting that strong, crisp uh, flavor. They say it's a, it's a bit of sunshine in the glass. Uh, I don't know if so much the sunshine, but the flavor is so different. Mm. These, this hops has made an intriguing flavor, really. It definitely is the, the hops that uh, have uh, done this. It's, it's dry hop. I know they use dry hops in this, they have said. And uh, they're definitely picking up in the flavor. It's strong. Mmm. Mmm. Strong. In the sense that the hops have dominated the flavor, but not bitter. They're not bitter hops. This is not bitter by any means. Uh, it blended well with the the malts that are in this. And uh, it's really good drinking beer. Definitely a good drinking beer. Uh, I wouldn't be an all day drink, uh, but. It would be worth getting again. It's flavorful. Uh, family and friends come over. It would be a nice beer to serve for some that's that's different. Definitely a different flavor. The aroma is different. Definitely isn't definitely is not one of the fruity beers that you, they've been um, craft brewers have been putting out. Alright, with that said. Uh, have a chance to get it. It's brewed all year round. All right. Have a good day, folks. Enjoy the day. Do things with the family. Ciao.